Anderson family. Now, Oliver, just because you're not doing the lead in the new play, why don't you be a good sport? Oh, this phony producer they got this time. Why didn't they get Bill Spencer again? And do that corny Bar X murder mystery, Pop? Well, it's better than this bedlam they've picked out. I hear Mr. Schultz the butcher has a part, Pop. Schultz? Why, he can't even weigh meat. Just goes to show you all hams aren't on hooks. Yeah, and I can't do a thing with Martha since she's got this theater in her blood. You mean even Martha's got a part two? Yeah. Oliver, I'll just give up the lead. No, I won't spoil anything for you. But the way you're carrying on, dear. I'll start another play. I'll do my own lead. Uh-oh, here we go again, folks. <laughs> Now let's visit the Andersons. Well, this whole thing started with the Anderson family when Mary was chosen for the community play. Oliver, who'd been the lead last time, has been left out by the new producer of the play. However, Oliver doesn't know this yet, and as he and Mary drive home, Mary figures she'll break the news easy. I'm so sorry you had to wait 10 minutes, Oliver, but the new director gave us a little talk after the rehearsal, and I just couldn't walk out. What kind of a fellow is this new director? Oh, he's supposed to be one of the greatest dramatic coaches of the continent. What continent? Well, I'm not sure, dear. His accent seems to be French. I see. Is he, uh, well, good-looking? Well, I'd say he was more, uh, well, distinguished-looking. I see. Did you, uh, tell him I did the lead in the play last year? I know, dear, I didn't. I didn't think it would matter much to him. He's also doing the lead himself. Oh, he would. What's that? Oh, nothing, nothing. I, I don't see anything wrong in the way I did the play last time. I don't see anything wrong in the way old Bill Spencer produced the play either. Oh, well, Mrs. Thompson is the new chairman, and she decided to use a great personality to direct this one. Says it's better box office. Oh, I don't know. They seem to like me all right. Oh, of course they did, dear. And you did a very good job, too. Of course, Mrs. Slipnickel, who played opposite you, didn't help you much. Well, I'll say she didn't. Whoever saw a leading lady with three chins. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen many pictures lately. Well, regardless of that, what right did Mrs. Thompson have to go outside of the neighborhood to get some long-haired dramatic expert? Oh, he's not long-haired, Oliver. No? In fact, he's very charming. The girls are all swooning. Oh, they are, huh? I think it's his eyes, the way he looks at you. You mean with that sort of a pool hall look? Pool hall look? I don't know what you mean. Skip it, forget it. I didn't say anything. All I know is just from seeing him once, the look in his eyes. They seem so melancholy so sad. Mm, well, I'll tell you this, Mary. If he gets too friendly, one of his eyes is going to look a little sadder than the other. Why, Oliver Adamson, you ought to be ashamed of yourself talking like that. You never met the man. Oh, but you have. Sad eyes. Hmm. And he's so soft-spoken. <laughs> he gets so much done without raising his voice. So calm. Probably just an act. You don't think he's the only one with a calm voice, do you? I didn't say he was. Well, Watch out, Oliver, that car! Why, that... Why don't you learn to drive, you nitwit? Oh, Oliver, what a display of temper. Well, you saw what he did. Cut right in the head of me there. Oh, I don't see where there's any excuse for raising your voice. Oh, you mean I'm uh, well, sort of embarrassing after an afternoon with the new director. I hate to see you act this way, dear. It's not like you. There's nothing I can do to get you the lead. I don't want the lead. I'm just burned up that they gave Bill Spencer the gate for this guy. Well, I don't think it's really up to you, dear. And anyhow, the person to take that up with is Mrs. Thompson. I'm not taking it up with anybody. I should, should think you'd insist that I did the lead. I know your moods so well. Oh, Monsieur knows them. Monsieur? Mm hmm. Monsieur Touche La Jour. <laughs> Sounds like a deodorant. Oh, why, Oliver? I actually think you're jealous. I'm no such thing. Sound very much as though you were. Oliver, why are you driving so fast? Fast? I hadn't noticed it. Is this better? Safer. Oliver. Yeah? Shall I give up the play? Nope. Will you quit taking it to heart so much if I go on with it? I should think you'd be proud of me. I am. But I think you can do a better job of acting opposite me. What, what's the name of the play? Lilies for the Lady. Lilies for the Lady. Oh, I wish you'd take more interest in it, Oliver. Monsieur is so kind and thoughtful. That's sporting of it. Oh. So who else is in the play? Well, there's Martha. She's the landlady. But Martha? Mm -hmm. Why, she can't act. Oh, she only has two lines. And she's paying for the rental of the chairs. Bribery, huh? Oh, 
What does Homer think about Martha being an actress? I have no idea. Darling, do one favor for me, will you, when Monsieur comes out this evening? Well, sure. I'll... He's coming out to our house? Oh, yes. He feels I need some special coaching. Oh, he does. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Sad eyes. Calm voice. Hey! Watch out, Oliver! Look where you're going, you stoop! <laughs> Good evening, Oliver. Oh, hi, Briggs. Just getting home? Well, no. I've been down to the butcher shop. Oh. You aren't sick, are you, Oliver? Sitting out here on the porch like this? Sick? Mm, no, of course not. I'm just sitting here thinking. Sometimes you can think better when you're alone. Well, I see where Barry's going to do the lead of the play again this year. Yeah. You're uh, doing the Bailey to get, I take it. Well, uh, no. They've imported someone to direct the new play, and... You mean Bill Spencer isn't going to direct it again? Nope, he's out. Nice fella, too. We worked well together. Gee, wasn't that last play a dandy? It had some uh, nice scenery. Yeah, pretty good acting, too. Yes, Mary is good at her part, all right. Suppose you're going again this year. You bet I am. <laughs> I'd like to see what this new director has up his sleeve. I'd kind of like to see how Schultz does his part. Schultz the butcher? Old shortweight Schultz? That's the oh. fellow. That's him. Do you consider him an actor? Why, he can't even cut meat. That eh, just goes to show you all the hams aren't on hooks. Ha. I hear Homer Beister's quite Schultz. burned up that he isn't in the play again this year. Hmm. Left Homer out too, huh? Maybe I ought to go see Homer. I know how he feels. I think you'll find him in his garage. There's a light in it. Been a bad boy again, huh? <laughs> Homer! Hey, open up. It's Oliver. Uh, who is it? Oliver! Oliver Anderson! Oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. What's the barricade for? Are you expecting trouble? Expecting it? Nope, I've had it. Hey, close the door. I don't get it. Locking yourself out here in the garage, what? Oh, uh, it's a long story, Oliver. Oh. I'm a disillusioned. Disillusioned? Yep, yep, that's it. Oh, yeah. uh, my heart's broke. Hey, hey, close that door. Well, come on. What's wrong? Well, I just don't know how to begin. But first off, I ain't going to be in the play this time. Shake hands with another has-been, Homer. Oh, you too? Oh, you mean you ain't in it neither? I'm right out in the cold like a milkman's horse. Oh, I'd like to take that there dramatic feller and twist him to the hotter uncle. I'd Bust him right well, up. now, of course, it's a different type of play this time, Homer. They yeah. aren't going to have any barroom scene this year. Oh, they ain't, eh? Ooh. Well, they would have been if they'd left Bill Spencer directed again. Mm -hmm. Why, I done so good last time, he was going to let me have a table all by myself in the barroom scene this time. And, oh, boy, I'd have been a standout. Mm -hmm. But I'm a trooper. I can stand it. That's the way to talk, Homer. Yep. Uh, by the way... Did you uh, see this new director? Yep, looks kind of pasty-faced, holler-eyed. Sad-eyed? Uh, well, no. Uh, oh. More like a couple of red lanterns hung over a hole. Uh, looks hungry to me. Did you... How'd you meet him? Uh, he took Marthy to the rehearsal today. Oh. Oh, I tell you, Oliver, when these women get the smell of that, that grease paint, oh, boy, it's terrible. You mean Marthy's changed? That's what she done, Oliver. <laughs> and that's why I'm moving out here in the garage by myself. This feller's got her talking to herself. Gee, <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, Homer. Yeah. You and Martha have been pulling double for some years now. Yep. She's been pulling one way and I've been pulling the other. That's the way it goes. But things look bright again for us there till this drammer thing happened. <laughs> she promised to take the swing shift at Consolidated Foundry. And I saw good things ahead. But she give it up when this... Smooth-talking foreigner started gooing at her. Who? You mean who? she's given up the swing shift? Oh, she sure is. Well, she ain't taking her welding helmet out the bag since she passed her uh, f fizzy... F physical, uh, physical. Yeah, yeah, physical, yeah. Why, well, uh, when did you notice the change, Homer? Well, it's been kind of gradual. It started long about last summer. She bought a first set of slacks. I remember at that time I was worried because there was a bright yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, then a week later she... Come home with one of them, one of them French ber beret things on her head, uh, and a bored look. Oh uh, well, I wouldn't let it worry me, Homer. You're the strongest personality of the two. I am, eh? Is that good? Well, sure. Yeah. I'd show her how shallow this theater business is, and prove to her that a dog in the manger is worth two in the bush. 
Worth two in the bush, Sure. Right? Well, uh, how does that help? Well, do like I do. I'm not in the place, so when Monsieur de Toujours Too Late comes over this evening... You mean he's coming over to your house? Yep, this evening. Oh, boy, you gonna stand for it? Well, yes, I may let him in. Then I'll explain the things I don't like about him, kind of subtle. Hey, can I join you? Oh, oh no, no, of oh, course boy, not. He's the... a great personality, so Mrs. Thompson says. Uh, you can't be crude, you know. No blackjacks oh, on this fellow. Oh, uh, no, I don't, don't believe it. I don't believe he's no famous director at all. I suspicioned him after I called all the studios and, and all them agency fellers, and, and nobody ever heard tell of him. Oh, oh, you did? You think he's a phony? Well, I, I, I don't know, but I'm going to get to the bottom of this, and I, I, I'm going to be able to go in my own home and not have someone tell me to, to please remove my hat. And to, and never to, to pick my teeth with a darning needle. <laughs> Why, the old Marthy, she's got so high and mighty, I can't rest. Bringing me home one of them long cigarette holders. Yeah. Yeah. Next, she'll want you to put a black silk ribbon on your glasses. Yeah. Mm. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, psst, someone's coming. Homer? Oh. Y yes, dear? Here's some more of your junk. Oh. Hello, Anderson. Hi, Marthy. I was just talking to Homer. It's he... no concern of mine what he does. Oh, now, come on, Martha. You don't mean that. Oh, I don't, hmm. For years, I knew I had talent. But he kept hiding it under a bushel and a welding helmet. I longed for the bright lights, the gaiety, wine, song, and things. But all I ever got was work, work, morning, noon, and night, and a lot of abuse. Now it's my turn to express myself. Well, where do you think this play's going to get you? Go ahead and scoff. Weasel, oh, you... remember, the world is a stooge. Stage. Stooge, stage, and uh, oh, oh, we all play a part. <laughs> well, I got my part, and I'm a playing it till the last curtain falls. I'm a trooper, too. Uh, but listen, doll. Don't doll yeah. me, short and corny. Yeah. I'm a going on to bigger things, and I ain't a riding side saddle. I'm a going on and on and on. This is me big break. Yeah, but remember, Martha. Well, how about you remembering? Stinking up the last play we had. Well, Even now... made the rest of us look bad. <laughs> so stand around and scoff. We of the theater care not. We of the theater. Oh, well, I guess there's no more I can do. I better run on. Gosh, Oliver, I hate to see you go. I feel so all alone. You know, Marthy's been a good woman all these years. And now the theater's in her blood. Oh, mm. now, Homer, you can handle the situation. Now, just take it easy. Just speak right up and tell her who's boss and why. I did that. And? And I'm out here alone in the garage, ain't I? I wishing I'd have never found out who was boss. You know, Homer? Uh, uh, know what, huh? Well, I was just thinking. Yeah? No one seems to know this phony. So maybe this isn't on the level. I got an idea. Oh, you have? Oh, tell me all about it. Can I help? You sure can, Homer. Now, look, yeah. this monsieur is coming over for an hour or two this evening. And I wait outside in the dark for no, him oh, oh, and no, whop not, him not, right Not the... that, not no, on my no. property. No. Let him go after he leaves our house. And this is what you do. Now, you wait outside. <laughs> Now back to the Anderson family. Well, Mary has been appointed the lead in the community play, and Oliver is left out of the cast completely. And right now, Mary is in her room trying on her wardrobe for the play, and Oliver is getting very little comfort from his son, Junior. I can't understand why you take this thing so hard, Pop. Oh, it's just the principle of the thing is all. But Mom is happier than I've ever seen her. Well, she's doing the lead, isn't she? Well, that might have something to do with it. Uh, Mrs. Meister's in it. I know that. And Mr. Schultz. I know that, too. It won't help the sale of tickets any, I'll tell you. Mom says the impresario's impres coming to our house the tonight. Impresario, that's a laugh. <laughs> What's an impresario, Pop? Why, you're an impresario... Well, he's a guy with long hair and short on brains, has a pool hall look and a calm voice. Gee, this I gotta see. Yeah, me too. You stick around when he comes and you'll see some fun. Shh, I hear Mom coming. Good evening, dear public. Mary, what have you got on there? Oh, Mom! Just my costume, Oliver. Uh, uh, yeah, but uh, it's not clear on, is it? Well, yes, of Good course, that's heavens. all there is to it. 
I've seen more clothes on a bathing beauty. Oh. No, 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 take it off. It's no good, Mary. I think it's keen, Pop. All those spangles, uh, Jim. <clears throat> I wasn't thinking about the spangles, Junior. But it's just something to wear in the play, Oliver. Well, yeah, but it's, uh, well, sort of... Well, mm. you don't expect me to play the lead in a pair of slacks and a sweater, do you? Of course not, but you'll get pneumonia in this outfit. Better take it off before someone sees you in it. Oh, oh. boy, wait till I tell the kids. That's my mom. Junior! Go ahead, run along now while I discuss fashions with your mother. Oh, gee, I wasn't saying anything. I didn't say you were saying anything. Now run on, get washed up. Yes, sir. Well, Well, shall I give up the play? No. Well, then please be nice to monsieur. Monsieur. It's only for a few days, dear. And besides, you know you're my leading man every day. Now, please cooperate, Oliver. Gee, I am cooperating, aren't I? I've even learned two or three French phrases. Just so he won't think we're plebeian. <gasps> He's here, Oliver. Do I look all right? <laughs> oh, it's too late now. Ah, bonsoir, monsieur. This is the residence of Madame Anderson, n'est-ce pas? Uh, yes. Won't you enter his house? Mm, uh, I, uh, I do not understand. Well, you wanted to see Mrs. Anderson, I believe. If you would be so kind, please. Uh, my hat, cane, gloves, and uh, well, and uh, please tell Madame uh, Monsieur Touché Lajour is here. Uh, 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 sure. I mean, I'm Mr. Anderson. Mrs. Anderson is in the study there. Won't you step this way? Oh, I am so sorry. Pardonnez-moi. How's that? Oh, good evening, monsieur. Oh. Uh, this is my husband, Oliver. I uh, met the gentleman, thank you. Oh. Ah, says Vos. What is this, Vos? Oh, it's French. You'll excuse mm. Mr. Anderson. He speaks French with an accent. Oh, <laughs> possibly he meant to uh, sit down. Yeah, mm. that's it. Yes. Oh. Uh, Mary told me all about you. What a wonderful director you are. How charming of her. And I might add that Madame Anderson is a very clever actress. Well, uh, yes, she is. Uh, I played the lead opposite her in the last play we had. Quite a fine program, too. Yeah, yes, so I understand. You were uh, magnifique in your part. Well, gee, thanks. <laughs> you were also a very uh, debonair leading man. Well, no, I, I wouldn't say that. I... I understand that you also blew up in your line several times. Well, yes, I, mm. I did no such thing. Uh, well, yeah, I did twice, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> Oliver... Please put Monsieur's things in the hall closet. Things? Oh, 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 yes, sure, of course. Excuse me. Uh, it is a pleasure, I assure you. I've been going over the first scene several times. Oh, I would not worry too much, madame. Oh. You are a natural actress. <sighs> Under my guidance, you should become famous. Oh, well, we... I hadn't thought of theatricals as a career. I put your things on the chair there in the hall so you can find them easily when you leave. Oh, that is very kind of you. I do not know how long I will be... Uh... That's all right. We never go to bed until around ten. Oh, monsieur, the ten. theater knows no time. A rehearsal takes as long as the director seems necessary, even if it takes all night. No, oh. no, 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 no. We'll try it once more, please. Perhaps it would help if Mr. Anderson would give you the lead line. Uh, yes. Oh, you mean you want me to do a part? Well, good. Uh... Only for tonight. Oh, I would appreciate it very much. Here, here is your part. Mm. Now, you enter stage right, and you come down center. Take off your hat and say, right this way. It's kind of small for a part. Oh, please, Oliver. Oh, now, all right. Now, in this scene, I'm, I'm buying the last pepper from a little news girl. It is icy, and she shakes from the miserable cold. I stop. I notice the pleading look in her eyes. I speak. You poor child, the night is cold and you are so poorly clad. Right this way! No, 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 please, no, huh? no. Just a moment, Mr. Anderson. Well, I... S Can't you grasp the, the tenseness of the scene? And why do you rush in like a sound of trash barrels being tipped over? Do not say, right this way. No, 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 no. no. It's right this way. Right now. This? Shall we try it once more? Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 Monsieur Anderson, no? not right this way. Oh, please, oh, mon Dieu, this man is impossible to talk. Oh. Uh, look, my artistic nature strives to be so kind to you, but never, never have I had so much trouble with one line. Well, you see, there isn't much to get my teeth into. I've had a part a little bit longer, if I could say, right this way, sir. No, 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 I will not allow you to pad your part. <laughs> Look, Mr. Anderson, listen to me. Yeah, I'm listening. Watch the phonetics. Watch the inflection. Well... Watch my facial expressions now. Yeah. Right this way. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm stale on the line. 
Maybe if I could come to the rehearsal with... I do not wish to be unkind, Monsieur Anderson, but Monsieur Chapman, a neighbor of yours, is going to do that line. Oh. Now, now, we do it this way. We will do the short scene ahead of your line, Mr. Anderson. Sort of sneak up on it, huh? Oliver. Now, well, with everything in your artistic soul, madame, please do this scene with me. Now, remember, the audience is crying. You are tearing their heartstrings out. Now, now, go ahead. Oh, sir, would you buy my last paper? You poor child, you have you no mother. My mother, she is gone. And have you no father? No one knows where my father is. Nobody's working, huh? Quiet! Well, oh. peasant. Here, oh. you, you poor child, I have but little, but sharing it with you is like sharing it with a sweet scented rose. Hey, Mark, where's the stopper for the washbowl? Rolled under the bathtub! Oh. oh. Oh, I'm so sorry, not Monsieur. A Mary. Oh, such people. Apologize, I, 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 I forgot. I, oh, well, oh, well, well may, maybe we should put the part aside. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh. Maybe I'm working too hard. It's nearly midnight. Midnight? Oh, mon Dieu, sacré de bleu, fromage de brie. Oh, my, my, my hat, my cane, my coat. Oh, sacré bleu, my appointment. You mean another rehearsal somewhere else? No, 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 a very important engagement. Oh, I must speed away on the wings of night. Well, here's your stuff. Oh, I hope we haven't yeah. made you late. No, 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 no. It is not your fault. And, and thank you for your help. I kiss your hand, madame. You are a true artist of the theater, and I bid you a bonne nuit. Oh. And you, Monsieur Anderson. Look out now. No, no, I, I, I cannot say it. Oh, mon Dieu. He is the most impossible man I ever met. <laughs> She gone to bed. He just left. Now do as we said. I'll put on the pants over my pajamas. No, 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 you don't have the time. Just slip on your overcoat. It won't be far in a hurry. Well, the back door's locked. Why are you still sitting up? Dude? Oh, I'm not tired. I'll just read a few minutes. Well, I'll go in and see if Junior's tucked in. I think you were a dear to help us out tonight. Well, fart wasn't really my type, you know. Anderson residence. Is you, Homer? Thompson. Oh. Has Monsieur Touche-Lajour left? Well, uh, yeah, just a few minutes ago. Um, uh, by the way, I was quite disappointed in not getting the lead again this time, Mrs. Thompson, and I thought... You had the lead last time, and we were satisfied. Uh, yeah, I know, uh, but don't you think you need a virile and aggressive man again in this play? Well, the huh? committee seems to be very satisfied with the leading man, and the director thanks you, Mr. Anderson. Uh, I know, uh, uh, but do you think it's the right type of a play? The play has been approved by our director, and that's all we're interested in. Uh, yeah, yeah, but if you're raising money and you want a big crowd, uh, with a fellow like me, you'd get it. Oh, I doubt it very much, Mr. Anderson. If you remember, we went in the hole last year for $11.50. Uh, uh, well, yes, but uh, you remember, it looked like rain that night, remember? Well, Mr. Anderson, in my position, I wouldn't dare to engage any director but the finest. Oh, well. Well, for Mary's sake, I'll buy a ticket. That's very sporting of you, Mr. Anderson. Oh. I'm sure you'll know what I mean when you see Monsieur in action. Good night. Uh, yeah. Uh, good night, Mrs. Thompson. <laughs> I'll put on my own play. I'll get Bill Spencer to direct it, and I'll give away a refrigerator with each ticket. Oliver! Oliver, who was on the phone? Mrs. Thompson, looking for her lost sheep. Well, better think about sleep, dear. Oh, maybe that's Mrs. Thompson again, Oliver. I'll answer it. You get ready for bed. Yes? Mary? Yes, is that you, Homer? Oh, Homer, huh? Let me have it, Mary. Hey, put Oliver on. All right. Thanks, Mary. Hello, Homer. Hey, I followed him like you said, Oliver. Yeah, go on. I, I tailed him to, to a place down here on Bilge Street. Oh, well, it was just a chance. Sorry I had to go that far, Homer. Oh, I ain't sorry. I found out something. You did? Get right down here as quick as you can and bring Mary with you. I'll meet you at Tony Bolsberger's Cafe on Bill Street. Now hurry. Mary, Mary, get your coat. Hurry up. Well, what on earth's happened? Come on, come on. Don't ask questions. Uh, well, where are we going at this time of night? Down to Tony's Bolsberger stand. But, Oliver, I don't want a hamburger. <laughs> I 
don't see Homer. He's probably inside Tony's. Come on in. But, Oliver, I wouldn't eat in this place. It's so greasy looking. Oh, just order cornflakes. Come on. All right. Do you see Homer? Well, I brush this smoke away here. Oh, here he is, right beside us in this booth here. Hi, Homer. Psst, hey, get in here quick. Quick, Mary, come on, I sit down. I don't get it. Why the mystery? Oh, you'll, you'll see. I'll ring this little bell. I don't want a thing to eat, Oliver. Please. Hey, hey, quiet. Here comes the waiter. You sure have good eyes, Homer. Shh, here Smoky he is. Joint. Oh, good evening. How about a nice Bull's Burger Deluxe with onions, n'est-ce pas? What? Monsieur Lajour. Oh, I get it now, Homer. Oh, it is you, Madame Anderson. I am so sorry. Oh, I had hoped so very much. So humiliated. That... Well, <gasps> that's all I wanted to know. Great work, oh. Homer, old boy. Oh, now, never oh. mind, Mary. Never mind that phony. Oh. Now we'll do my play. We'll do the Bar X murder. Oh, Oliver, not Hillbilly. Hillbilly, why not? Bill yeah. Spencer knows the play, and Homer has a fat part. Yeah, that's And I get a chance to show how lead yes, should sir. be played. <laughs> The Anderson Family is written by Howard Swart, directed by Herb Litton, and features Dick Lane as Oliver, Louise Arthur as Mary, Walter Tetley as Junior, and Herbert Rollinson as Homer. Others in the cast were Jack Willen DeWitt as Martha and George Peroni as Briggs. Music by Gordon Kibbe, sound effects by Ray Erlenborn, and your announcer is Ken Peters. The Anderson Family is a Hollywood Broadcasters production transcribed from Hollywood. Thank <laughs> you.